Good morning children. In today's class we are going to do problems in integration based on Bernoulli's formula. Integral u dv equals uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 minus u triple dash v3 and so on. Till the differentiation of u terminates I can keep on writing. For choosing u dv, we use I late principle. In a particular problem, as I see, check whether inverse is present. That is sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse. So like this, I call inverse. So this is my first priority. Second, if this is not present, Choose logarithm, log x, log 2x, 3x, like that. If that is also not there, choose algebraic. x powers, I call algebraic. x, x square, x cube, like that. That is also not there. Fourth priority is sine, cos, tan functions, say trigonometry functions. And the last priority, I go with exponent, that is e power x, a power x and so on. So, selecting u, I have these principles. To select u, we mostly adopt i late principle. i for inverse, l for logarithm, a for algebra, t for trigonometry and e for exponent. Once I select u, all that remains I call dv. u I will keep on differentiating call u dash, double dash, triple dash and so on. dv I will keep on integrating and I will get v, v1, v2, v3 and so on. Then we will substitute in the formula and simplify. Let us see the exercise to understand it to the depth. Exercise 9.4 evaluate the following. As I see the integral 0 to 1 x cube e power minus 2x dx. We need to choose u and dv. What I choose as u I have to differentiate and what I choose as dv I have to integrate. How to choose this u? Given a question, check whether inverse is present, choose that as u. If inverse is not there, give priority to logarithm. If logarithm is also not there, give priority to algebraic. Algebraic stands for x powers. In this question, x powers is coming. Take that as u. The remaining along with dx i will select as dv whatever i choose as u let me differentiate whatever i choose as dv let me integrate u dash u double dash successive differentiation till it terminates x cube becomes 3x squared again differentiating 3 into 2x that is 6x again differentiating it is 6 Again, differentiating it is 0. When I integrate e power minus 2x, it becomes e power minus 2x by minus 2. When I do it again, one more minus 2 will come. So, minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4. Again, I integrate. One more minus 2 will come. 4 into minus 2 minus 8. Again, when I integrate another minus 2, minus into minus plus 8 twos are 16 so every time because it is e power minus 2x e power minus 2x integral is e power minus 2x by minus 2 every time i keep on multiplying the denominator by minus 2 now let us recall bernoulli's formula for integration by parts Integral u dv is uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 minus u triple dash v3 and so on. 
we just multiply u v u dash v1 u double dash v2 u triple dash v3 the moment i come up to zero into anything zero so i stop my answer with u triple dash v3 wherever e power is coming i can keep e power as common out the remaining x cube by minus 2 minus 3 x square by 4 6 and 8 i can cancel and write 6 by 16 i can cancel and write the remaining put upper limit 1 wherever x is coming put upper limit 1 and then wherever x is coming put lower limit 0 upper limit minus lower limit as we simplify we get the answer minus 19 by 8 e power minus 2 plus 3 by 8 exercise 9.4 question number 2 evaluate integral 0 to 1 sin of 3 tan inverse x into tan inverse x dx by 1 plus x square sin x can come if sign of any other function comes, make it a substitution. So tan inverse x we assume as t. Whenever we substitute, we must differentiate. t becomes dt. Tan inverse becomes 1 by 1 plus x square dx. We need to change the limits. As I put tan inverse x is t. The limits for x are 0 and 1. Put x 0 here. Tan inverse 0 is 0. Put x is 1. Tan inverse 1. Tan which angle gives us 1? Pi by 4. So tan pi by 4 is 1. So when x is 0, t is 0. When x is 1, tan inverse 1 gives us pi by 4. The limits are from 0 to pi by 4. Sine 3 tan inverse I substitute T. Again tan inverse I substitute T. Dx by 1 plus x square. I can put dt. Now I have T and sine 3t. Let me remember the principle I laid. Inverse is not present forget logarithm not present forget which is present algebraic so choose t as u the algebraic here is t powers so t power 1 i take u the remaining sine 3 t dt i will consider as dv here i will integrate here i will differentiate t becomes 1 first derivative again i differentiate 1 becomes 0 here when i integrate sine becomes minus cos 3t hide sign 3t becomes 3 put it in the denominator when i differentiate again minus cos 3t becomes sine 3t by 3 Already there is a 3. So together sin 3t with minus symbol by 9. Once I know second derivative is 0. I stop with this. I apply Bernoulli's formula. Integral u dv is uv t into minus cos 3t by 3 minus u dash v1 u dash is 1 v1 is minus sin 3t by 9 u double dash is 0 so ignore the remaining put the limits from 0 to pi by 4 wherever t is coming let us put upper limit pi by 4 i equals pi by 4 minus cos 3 pi by 4 by 3 minus into minus plus sine 3 pi by 4 divided by 9. This is upper limit minus. What is the lower limit? Wherever t is coming, I must put 0. 
if I put 0, 0 into anything 0, sin 0 is also 0. So, lower limit gives me 0. I equals pi by 4 3s are 12. Minus symbol is there, keep it out. What is cos 3 pi by 4? We must remember cos 3 pi by 4 is cos pi minus pi by 4. It is in second quadrant. Cos is negative. So my answer minus cos pi by 4. But if I put sine 3 pi by 4. It is again sine pi minus pi by 4. Second quadrant sine is positive. I get sine pi by 4. So cos 3 pi by 4. The value is minus 1 by root 2. Plus. 1 by 9 into sine 3 pi by 4 it is plus 1 by root 2 as I substitute and take 1 by root 2 as common I am left with minus into minus plus pi by 12 plus 1 by 9 question number 3 integral 0 to 1 by root 2 e power sine inverse x into sin inverse x dx by root of 1 minus x square. As I see the problem, e power x, 2x, 3x can come. e power any other function comes. Make it as a substitution. So, e power what? e power sin inverse x. Put t equals sin inverse x. Whenever we substitute, we differentiate t becomes dt. Sine inverse x as I differentiate, it is 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx. Change of limits, x limits are 0 to 1 by root 2. Substitute, when x is 0, t is equal to sine inverse 0, that is 0. When x is 1 by root 2, t is equal to sine inverse 1 by root 2. Sine of pi by 4 gives me 1 by root 2. So, sine inverse 1 by root 2 is pi by 4. So, integral becomes 0 to pi by 4. E power sine inverse x is t. Again, sine inverse x is t. dx by 1 minus x square root. I can call as dt. Now, we are left with t e power t. What is my next step? Remember the principle I laid. Inverse not present, forget. Logarithm not present, forget. So I have algebraic that is t powers. t power 1 I consider as u. What is dv? The remaining. As I differentiate, t becomes 1 and next derivative 1 becomes 0. As I integrate dv, it's very simple problem e power t. Every time I integrate, I get only e power t. Substitute in Bernoulli's formula, integral u dv is u v t e power t minus u dash v1, 1 into e power t. u double dash is 0, forget it. In these two terms, only e power t is common. I can keep it out. e power t into t minus 1. For objective type questions, we often come across integral t e power t. We must remember the direct answer. Here we have done in steps. It is good that you remember the direct answer. t e power t integral becomes e power t into t minus 1. Substitute the limits. Wherever t comes, put pi by 4. e power pi by 4 into pi by 4 minus 1 minus lower limit e power 0 into 0 minus 1. It is e power pi by 4 into pi by 4 minus 1 minus into minus is plus e power 0 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1 and that is the answer. 
Fourth question i equals integral 0 to pi by 2 x square cos 2 x dx. Again we recall i late principle. Here inverse not present, logarithm not present, algebraic is present. So consider x square as u. Whatever I take x square I have to differentiate. Whatever I take dv, say cos 2x dx, I have to integrate. x square becomes 2x. 2x when I differentiate 2 into 1. Again I differentiate it is 0. Integration. Cos 2x integral is sin 2x by 2. Again I integrate. Sine becomes minus cos 2x by 2. Already there is a 2 so together it is 4. V2 another integration minus sine 2x by 2 fours are 8. Again I integrate. Sine becomes minus cos. Already there is a minus so it is plus cos 2x by 8 2s are 16. So sin 2x comes denominator keep on multiplying by 2. Sin becomes minus cos, cos becomes sin. So use that idea and keep on integrating. Apply here in the formula integral u dv is uv x square sin 2x by 2 minus u dash v1 2x minus cos 2x by 4 plus u double dash v2 2 into minus sin 2x by 8 triple dash is 0 so need not multiply the whole thing the limits are 0 to pi by 2 wherever x is coming let us put upper limit i equals x square becomes pi square by 4 sine 2 into pi by 2 by 2 minus into minus plus 2 I can cancel it is 1 by 2 into x is pi by 2 cos 2 into pi by 2 here I can cancel minus into plus minus 1 by 4 sine 2 into pi by 2 now put lower limit 0. 0 into anything 0. 0 into anything 0. Again sign 0 is 0. So lower limit fully becomes 0. Simplify only this. I equals pi square by 4 twos are 8. 2 and 2 cancels. Sign pi becomes 0. Plus pi by 4 into cos 2 and 2 cancels cos pi is minus 1 minus 1 by 4 2 and 2 cancels sin pi is 0 so i equals pi by 4 into cos pi is minus 1 so my answer is minus pi by 4